Greetings everyone, and today I would like to continue my talk about this um, traditional view on human consciousness and in my previous video I talked about the peak today I would like to talk about the, uh, the 13th beast, um, Holy Spirit and um, about this um, uniqueness uh, before I continue I would like to you know again say that you know this is uh, evil what is an evil? Evil is a stupidity and uh, this is, uh, you know, based on a big stupidity and big lie. And uh, evil is a crime against the Holy Spirit or evil is a crime against the fireplace. Uh, culture must go, always go, should be going up and uh, education almost, all, I mean, all, uh, always must go up. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, these Buddhists, uh, uh, you know, or uh, this Bodhidharma uh, to uh, told some, uh, some strange story and um, only primitive or stupid person will uh, create such a story and claim that uh, uh, there is a harmony in the jungle, there is a harmony in the nature um, because of them. Or uh, because of you know these um, uh, four harmonious uh, you know creatures, and uh, because of their you know uh, example, other creatures are respecting each other. This is a complete idiocy, and um, you know uh, there, of course there is a harmony in the nature, and this harmony is quite evil, and predators are eating uh, lower creatures. And when uh, these predators die, worms and you know other creatures eat them. So uh, this uh, you know harmony is quite evil, and this harmony is quite complicated. And um, you know <laughs> this is a, this is a, you know not logical. This is not even a logical. Everyone knows that you know rabbits live one, two, or three, maximum four years. In the wild, a rabbit usually lives one year. So, um, this, if this is a one year old rabbit or two years old rabbit, uh, then this uh, monkey should be one year old monkey. And this elephant is like, um, uh, have not uh, reached one year yet. I mean, um, in the story, they say that, you know, um, the elephant was the youngest and this blue bird was the oldest. oldest. And the main message was that, that, you know, respecting elders is important and it is good. Um, some may say that it is just, you know, a fairy tale of what is important is the message. But, you know, um, you know uh, there's a people who uh, create wonderful stories and uh, create books. And this is, you know, really bad story. I'm sorry, but this is a really bad story. Story, and uh, you know, um, of course, this um, you know uh, monkey and rabbit and this bird lied, and uh, this elephant is the eldest. So um, these people uh, or these uh, creatures that lied um, managed to you know, you know sit on top, and uh, you know elephant is uh, you know stupid and it's in the bottom. Well. Uh, uh, so, to, uh, to, to continue about this Holy Spirit, every, uh, in the ancient times, every nation, every country had its own unique totem creature. And this is going to be the 13th beast. Uh, you know, uh, here in Mongolia, things doesn't end with the number 12. Things end with the number 13. And uh, this, in the middle of this circle sits the 13th beast. For half Mongolians, um, uh, the fire bird Hangarit is the Holy Spirit. This uh, bird um, has uh, this um, woman chest, uh, I mean boobs, and it has uh, horns and wings, and it also grabs a snake. And uh, this is going to be our Holy Spirit. But um, of course, foreigners uh, see, you know, a demon. Uh, if uh, you know someone has a uh, horns and you know. Um, someone who is looking sexy, it's going to be a demon. 
Um, but um, for Mongolians, it's going to be the Holy Spirit. And every nation, every country had this unique, strange beast. For example, this is um, our um, uh, northern neighbor's um, Holy Spirit or the totem creature. And uh, this, is, uh, you know, this, uh, this thing is, you know, has a two head. You know, uh, having a two face or having a two head is believed to be, you know, bad because um, someone is showing a good face, then, then um, yeah, you know, showing a bad face, you know, this two face is believed to be bad. But somehow they think, you know, two headed eagle is very really good. Why? Um, uh, of course, in the Buddhism, uh, there is uh, something that is related uh, with um, having a many heads. And uh, in Buddhism, if a bird has uh, two heads, it is uh, usually stands for a uh, translator. I mean, uh, uh, this bird translates from this uh, English to a uh, Mongolian. And if uh, someone uh, d uh, draw a bird with the two, um, you know. Uh, head, it's going to be a, a, a you know, totem creature or sim symbolic creature for uh, you know mm, translators. So in my previous video, I talked about you know this um, pig, and pig uh, can be a symbolic creature for magicians. And um, I would like to focus your attention to this strange item, and I have put it on description. Now, this is going to be some kind of. Um, um, axe head comes from a middle uh, middle east and uh, you have a strange bird uh, with a two head and you have this uh, you know line with uh, wings or griffin and you have a pig pig is a uh, you know is a blade of uh, this uh, axe it uh, it means uh, this pig is a um, killer a pig is uh, you know slicing and uh, killing something that has a life. So um, pig can stand for death and this um, you know uh, you know it is it is uh, you know this uh, griffin is called the spirit of highland. Uh, according to you know logic if there was such a creature with the wings you know, usually winged creatures nest in the higher grounds and from the higher grounds uh, they look at their prey. So this is called a spirit of um, you know highland or highlander. Also, this um, has a name. Uh, I read it that it had a name, uh, the symbol of a uh, Ahriman or Ari man, and um, this is going to be a spirit of some kind of destruction. Uh, but you know uh, we know that you know this um, boar or um, hog and this. Uh, uh, Griffin is a um, famous, uh, you know, you know, totem creature of the Chuchins. and somehow this new uh, hero has arrived in this scene, and this two-headed uh, bird uh, became quite popular in the steppes, especially among uh, these uh, Kipchaks. So, um, you know, um, what uh, what it can uh, represent? Well, uh, usually a bird that is looking from, from west and east, it is believed that, you know, uh, this bird controls um, Asia and Europe. And, you know, a uh, Russian eagle has uh, this sphere um, of, you know, power and, you know, this uh, uh, maze, maze of justice, something like that. So, uh, you know, this uh, bird uh, can, uh, you know, simply represent that it uh, controls um, both Asia and both Europe. And this bird is also known uh, to be the symbol of Constantinople, uh, you know, Byzantine Empire. So, um, so uh, every uh, nation creates such, you know, strange uh, uh, beasts and they uh, think that this is, you know, this can be the local land spirit or this can be their uh, totem creature and this uh, creature is believed to be you know this um, uh, something ancestral and uh, uh, you know this uh, creature sits in the middle of this 
circle. So in the middle of this circle you can put anything that you think holy. Uh, you can put wolf, you can put deer, you can put uh, uh, bears. <laughs> um, as you can notice that uh, the owner of uh, these teddy bears have arrived and um, you know uh, you don't put uh, dragon because a dragon is already existing in this uh, uh, circle so you put something else well um, you know uh, this is going to be this final part of a human consciousness and human consciousness is uh, you know uh, different and every human being is going to be unique uh, when you believe in a god you think that you know uh, god should create humans same and uh, humans should have you know same ideas about uh, one unique uh, you know creator but somehow you know uh, these uh, humans are different uh, humans having a different gods so uh, that's why there is a you know strong belief that you know uh, there must be not one but many gods well uh, that's pretty much for today and thanks for watching